Hello, and welcome to the first ever tutorial here on the channel. Of course, I've been making tutorials on the Casasera channel for over five years now, but everything there is Minecraft related. If I ever want to explain something which is not related to Minecraft, I might as well just do it here on this channel. And I recently stumbled upon something which I really struggled with and took me a while to figure out, and I thought, you know what, why not just make a video about it? Hopefully it can actually help some people out. And that thing is how to connect a Nintendo Switch 2 Pro Controller to Steam so you can use it for any controller supported Steam game. Something which sounds very easy to do, especially if you've played Steam games with a controller before, but it's not as straightforward as you might think. Also I do just want to say, this is the first public video here on this channel. There is a big chance you're not actually subscribed, so if you could just double check and click on subscribe, I would appreciate it so much. The Nintendo Switch 2 Pro Controller, which is this one you see on screen right now specifically, is an amazing controller. It feels really nice and really premium, but it is such a struggle to get working on Steam. And I want to play and stream Silksong on this channel. I've been using the Xbox Elite controller, and while it might be an amazing controller for some games, for Silksong, it literally hurts my hands. So, I want to switch to the Switch 2 controller, but Steam is like, nah, we're not doing that. Usually, all it takes is simply plugging in your controller and connecting it to your PC. Steam will then immediately recognize it, and from here on out, if you have a PlayStation or an Xbox controller, and even if you have a Switch 1 Pro controller, it will immediately work perfectly fine. Most third-party controllers too. The Switch 2 Pro controller, not so much though. You can see that it does recognize it, it is here. But when I click on begin setup in the top right, no matter how much I click, it does not recognize a single input. Nothing. <laughs> so how do we fix that? Well, the answer, like with most great things in life, is GitHub. <laughs> There is this website, handheldlegends.github.io. I'll of course leave a link to it in the description down below. And it is called the ProCon2 Enabler Tool. A free and open source utility to enable ProCon2 on Windows and Android. Keep in mind that this only works for Windows and Android. If you are on Linux or macOS, you could give it a shot, but it will most likely not work. But what you want to do here is simply click on Enable HID output. Immediately a browser window will pop up which requires you to select a controller. Currently I only have a single one selected. It is of course the Switch 2 Pro Controller. So we're gonna click on connect and there we go. It should now say USB connected here. And what you want to do after that is when you open Steam, you want to go to the Steam text all the way in the top left of the screen. Over there, you want to click on settings. After that, you want to go to the controller tab. If you plugged in your controller and you enabled that website, a controller named Nintendo something something should pop up for you. And what you want to do now is click on begin setup. And if you did the website correctly, then now the buttons actually work. So I can now start to actually configure it. So whatever button it tells you to press on, you simply want to do that. So I'm currently following all of these steps. I'm gonna press the button, then we're gonna configure the right stick, and just follow all of these steps, do exactly what Steam tells you to do. In no time, you will have pressed every single button on your controller at least once. And there we go. Now, apparently, because of all the buttons I just pressed, it does recognize that this is a Nintendo Switch controller. It does say Nintendo Switch 2 Pro here, though it shows a regular Nintendo Switch Pro controller, not a controller from the Switch 2, but it really doesn't matter because it now works. You can see that when I press buttons, it all works, it is responsive, and we can now perfectly fine play any game on Steam using this controller. After connecting the controller, it will not automatically disconnect the controller when you close the website, though if you don't have the website open, if your controller goes to sleep, it will most likely not be able to reconnect to your PC. So you want to make sure you bookmark this website so you can always find your way back to it. And with that being said, that's gonna be it for today. Do make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and I'll see you in the next one.